Okay, so now let's talk about a problem called the shadow problem. It involves shadows, similar triangles, and related rates. So if you don't know anything about those three, it's best to uh, brush up on that knowledge. So let me read the problem. A six foot tall woman is walking at a rate of four feet per second away from a street lamp that is 24 feet tall. How fast is the length of her shadow changing? So like I said, this problem is going to have similar triangles. So let me just draw out a diagram. Okay, so here's our here's our triangle. So the first thing I notice is that we have a street lamp that is 24 feet tall. So let's label this side length as our street lamp. And here it is, projecting light. Okay, then we have a six foot tall woman who's walking away. So she's gonna be right here. Here's our six foot tall woman and she's walking away. So she's walking in this direction. So that means that her shadow is right here because if the street lamp is behind her it's illuminating her back so that means her shadow is going to be projected in front of her right so this is our now what we're trying to find is the rate of how much how fast her shadow is changing so that's this let's call this y so let's call this rate of the shadow changing as dy over dt Let's call this space here x, and this space is going to be known as dx over dt. But we're not going to be solving for this. We already know that dx over dt is 4, right? It tells us so, that she's walking away. So this is how fast she's going. She's walking away this way. So, let me change markers real quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to use the idea of a similar triangle to set up this fancy-dancy little... Thing. So, if this if this is our big triangle, our side and this is our small triangle, our side lengths should be able to be uh, set equal to each other, I suppose, if that's the way you want to say it. Uh, so, if this is our big triangle, 24 over x plus y, right? That's what this side length is. This should be equal to six over y, this side length, right? Do you see the similar triangles and how we're doing this? 6y, 24, x plus y. They're just two different triangles, two similar triangles, and their side length, uh, the relation of this side length to this side length should be the same, right? That's the best way I can think of to uh, explain that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to cross multiply. So we get 24y equals 6x plus 6y. Next what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 20, su subtract 6y from both sides. So we get 18y equals 6x. Now this is the part where you choose whether, divide, whether you should divide by 18 or 6. But you know that we're trying to solve for dy over dt. We already know what dx over dt is. So what we're going to do is we're going to isolate y. So we're going to divide by 18. So y equals 1 third x. Now since this problem is dealing with rates, otherwise known as derivatives, we're going to take the derivative at this point. There's no real way to solve for dy over dt if you don't take the derivative at this point. So we get dy over dt equals the derivative of one third x is just one third times dx over dt. Everything has to be in relation to t or time. Right, so this is the part where we can plug in our dx over dt and solve for our dy over dt. So we get dy over dt equals one third times four. So now if we just multiply we get dy over dt equals 4 thirds feet per second. And you see, that's how easy it is to solve for uh, rates in shadow problems. And But there's another type of shadow problem that it talks about the tip of her shadow, so just this point here. That will be in another video, but it's pretty similar other than it, it uses subtraction in this this part here, but it's pretty similar. 